Hello, Falcha. Welcome to our series on the Thon, the Cattle Raid of Cooley or the Thon Bo Cunha. There are multiple Thons, but the Cattle Raid of Cooley is the one that we are looking at in this video series with myself, Laura O'Brien. And I'm going through the Joseph Dunn translation, the reading of it, and a little bit of commentary, um, just the bits that make sense, the bits that don't make sense, and um, a little bit of context for you, for people who uh, might not have that available to them, just to try and make a little bit more sense of what's going on in the pawn, because it's a big one, you know? So if you are new to this, um, make sure that you go right back to the start. There's a playlist and you want to go to the start of the playlist and get the introduction and, and get your feet that way because um, we're a little bit far in currently. We are going to look at slaughter today. So the slaughter of the boy troop and the slaughter of the king's bodyguard. So when last we left our heroes and villains, they had basically a uh, cure Roy was involved and there was some weird battle of giants thing going on and um it came at the end of it it was when the um the curse of maka was basically done at that point and from that point on it said that the um that the men of ulster were coming against uh, queen Maeve's army of the rest of ireland so we're going to click in here to uh, the slaughter of the boy troop and let's be having it. So now the youths of Ulster discuss the matter amongst themselves in our Macha. Alas for us, said they, that our friend Cúchulainn has no one to succour him. I would ask then, spake Fíachu Fulach, the bloody, son of Ferfeva, and own brother to Fíachu Fildana, the generous daring, son of Ferfeva, Shall I have a company from you to go to him with help? Thrice fifty youths, so 150 young men, accompany him with their play clubs, and that was a third of the boy troop of Ulster. So these are lads that Cucullan has, you know, come upon when he when he went up to his um his uncle Concours um palace fort doom, whatever you call it. Um, and Alan Macha, uh, these are lads that he would have been playing with and training with and uh, besting in most cases. So 150 of them, um, which was a third of the entire boy troop. The army saw them drawing near them over the plain. A great army approaches us over the plain, spake Alil. Fergus goes to espy them. Some of the youths of Ulster are they, said he, and it is to succor Cúchulainn they come. Let a troop go to meet them, said Alil, unknown to Cúchulainn, for if they unite with him, ye will never overcome them. Thrice fifty warriors went out to meet them. They fell at one another's hands, so that not one of them got off alive of the number of youths of Leotal. Hence is Leah the stone of Fiachu, son of Ferfeva, for it is there that he fell. So there's more than Henicus, more lore of place names happening there. So 150 warriors went out to meet the boy troop and they wiped each other out, basically. Take counsel, quoth Alil, inquire of Cúchulainn about letting you go from hence, for you will not go past him by force, now that his flame of valour has risen. For it was usual with, usual with him, when his hero's flame arose in him, that his feet would turn back on him and his buttocks before him, and the knobs of his calves would come on his shins, and one eye would be in his head and the other one out of his head. A man's head would have gone into his mouth. There was not a hair on him that was not as sharp as the thorn of, a hue, of the hue, and a drop of blood was on each single hair. He would recognize neither comrades nor friends. Alike he would strike them before and behind. Therefrom it was that the men of Connacht gave Cúchulainn the name Rish Tartha, the contorted one. So this here speaks to Cúchulainn's otherworldly heritage. Some people will tell you that it's like a description of a battle frenzy, but actually when you look at Cúchulainn's heritage and his parentage and his history and the, um, 
his powers and his prowess he's he's being even though he's he's described as a as an ulster hero the the root of it or the source of it would seem to be more um more in line with something um malignant from the other world so Rish Tartha would be one of um a name that he doesn't often get called uh, but that's the contorted one and this physical description of him um in in this state um is is quite significant uh quite significant connection to supernatural powers. So I think that's what's going on there. And then we have the slaughter of the king's bodyguard, which is a little short one. So I thought we'd include it in our slaughter themed episode today. So let us ask for a sword truce from Kukulin said Alil and Maeve. Louis goes to him and Kukulin accords the truce. Put a man for me on the ford tomorrow, said Cucullin. There happened to be with Maeve six royal hirelings, to wit, six princes of the Gans of Deda, the three dubs, the blacks of Imlach, the three jarrigs, the reds of Shrucker, by name. So dove is black and jarrig is red. Um, why should it not be for us, quote they, to go and attack Cucullin? So the next day they went and Cúchulain put an end to the six of them. So this is the slaughter of the king's bodyguard. More of the same. So there we have it. We are on to episode 13 next and uh, we will we'll catch that in the next video. We are doing content here at the Irish Pagan School and um, between the YouTube and my blog um, we're doing Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So make sure you're on the mailing list so that you don't miss any of that. And um, you'll miss the blog posts if you, well, you might, unless you're watching it every day. But um, yeah, you might miss the blog posts if you're not on the mailing list. So do make sure. There's lots of other benefits and bonuses as well. Obviously, to be on the mailing list, you get regular resources and invites to our live at five session which is a, a an open community meeting that we host every tuesday thursday and saturday at 5 p.m irish time so definitely join the mailing list and find out all about that and um i will see you in the next video it's long ago